In this video, I'm gonna walk through the exact process I use to combine two different AI tools to build great looking and high converting landing pages in just a couple of minutes. Hey, I'm Craig Hewitt, welcome back to 100 Days of AI. Today, we're talking marketing, which in the comments on a lot of these videos is the thing that y'all wanna know more about. And we're gonna talk about how I'm using both Manus and V0 to put together really good high converting landing pages in just a couple of minutes because at the end of the day, we can create the best tools and best product and write the best code and AI can be so amazing at so many things, but if we don't market the product that we're building, we're never gonna get customers, we're never gonna grow our list and we're never gonna have a successful business. So when it comes to building landing pages and websites, I think context and intentionality is the most important thing. And in doing that, we have to find a way to easily build a bunch of information about the thing that we want to build a landing page about. And to me, that's where Manus comes in. So you've heard me talk about Manus before, probably a lot, and you might be rolling your eyes if you've listened to or watched most of these videos, but Manus is the go-to for me when it comes to doing a bunch of thinking and doing really hard kind of one-off tasks. In Manus here, I have a chat where I have said, I wanna create a landing page for this project, read and analyze this GitHub repo, uh, and give me a brief and a prompt to feed into V0 to create a landing page. And so the important thing here is I'm asking for two pieces of information from Manus. One is what I call like a brand brief. And, and to be honest, I've spun up a couple of different brands over the last couple of months, over this 100 days of AI, You know, one for Linkberry, one for SEO machine, which we're going through the example of today. And in each of them, I want give me the copy, that's fine, that's pretty easy, but then I want the brand brief, which is like, what's the product about, who's it for, what problems are we solving, things about like jobs to be done and buyer journey, these kind of like marketing psychology things. And so in this case, Manus will go away, it'll analyze the GitHub repo, it will start building uh, a document here, so SEO machine.md, this markdown file. Uh, and then it starts building the uh, landing page brief, and then it provides it to me. So what I've created is a project brief, over, outlines the purpose, target audience, key message, and desired user outcomes, and then uh, the detailed V0 prompt to build the landing page. And in Manus here, you can open up these documents. These are like their Word documents. You can download them as markdown. Uh, which is exactly what I do. So this is the product brief that Manus gives me, and then it gives me the prompt. So in this case, I guess I didn't ask it for exact landing page copy. That's kind of a plus or minus move. You could do that or you can not do it. In this case, I didn't do it. Uh, I did do it for Linkberry, for the um, LinkedIn writing tool I'm building. Um, so it's giving, uh, so in this case, Manus is giving us some of the copy here, right in line. Uh, and then, you know, feature sections, data integrations, uh, how it works, tech stack, uh, and footer, right? Because we gave all of this context to Manus and it just kind of put the pieces together, just like you would. If I said, hey, um, you know, Bob, can you go write a landing page about this? And you need to understand the context of it and kind of all the stuff that it does. You'd be like, yeah, cool, I can do that. I need to go to this URL. I need to research this stuff. I need to understand it. I need to write it out. It's just what, you know, Manus is doing. Okay, so we have these pieces of information here. We have this product brief and the prompt, and then we just go over and load it up into V0. So if I open up V0 in my chat history here, all I said is create the sites based on the prompt and description of the attached doc, and I uploaded that markdown file. And it gave me a pretty good first version here. So let's see if I can load this first version. Mm, I can't load this first version. It was basically this, <laughs> which is like AI powered content that ranks. It talks about all the stuff that it does, how it works, built on modern technology, open source and MIT license, a complete example, which because I'm including the Castos kind of user personas and uh, content and all that kind of stuff, links to GitHub, it knows it's created by me. And actually in this one, it just was a one shot. I didn't do anything at all to optimize or tweak it afterwards. And so if you are like creating products, the first thing you, so here's my entire product process. So I typically ideate the product or the business with Manus because it's a really good, very deep thought partner. I'll say like, hey, what about this? What about this? Do market research, uh, look at competitors. And we narrow in on a problem that we wanna solve. That's how we came up with the Linkberry idea. From there, I say, okay, create me a brief. 
and then I come over and I create a landing page. Before I write a single line of code, I want a page up because I want to start doing marketing before I start building a product. And, and you should too. <laughs> as easy as it is to fire up Claude code and have it start going away and writing code, if you don't have customers, you don't have a business. And so building a landing page, you absolutely should do. Even if you're like, yeah, but I'm going to use WordPress or I'm going to use whatever to create a big old you know website that has a blog and all these pages and stuff, that's fine. But you should have a landing page that's collecting email addresses. So for Linkberry, this is the page that uh, V0 generated for us in, in like one shot. Like you, if you watch the video, like it was very close. We just tweaked this part one little bit and we added a manifesto from, I think we got inspiration from another site and that's it, right? And it did it. And now we're collecting dozens of early access customers on the wait list every day. So I get a ping every hour or so in my email and say, hey, someone just joined the wait list. And so that's the power of creating a landing page as soon as you have an idea for something. Go spend the 10 bucks on a domain, use V0 to build a landing page to start marketing this and collecting email addresses for early access before you write a single line of code. This is the exact process I use for finding a business idea, creating the product brief and prompt and language, building the landing page and getting it live so I can start marketing my product as soon as possible. I hope this is helpful in this walkthrough of how I'm using Manus along with V0. Uh, by the way, I choose V0 over Bolt or Lovable or something because we use Vercel on the back end a lot. So I'm only paying for things one time. Okay, I'm Craig Hewitt. This is 100 Days of AI. I hope this is helpful. If so, drop a comment in below. Ask anything you want. I'll help you out in any way I can.